If you're still jumping to your home screen just to switch to one of your favorite apps, stop it. Use notification shortcuts instead to instantly reach them within your notification shade. You can add up to 12 of your favorite apps or extra shortcuts when downloading an extra app called Shortcut Maker. This will allow you to include contacts, app shortcuts, widgets, split screen apps, etc. All within your notification panel. It's incredible and will make multitasking easier. And that's how we're starting things off for the best Android apps of June 2022, the show where I talk about 10 fantastic underrated apps which you'll most likely download and rave over. By the way, big news! With the help of some talented designers, I'm going to start releasing new exclusive wallpapers and KWGT widgets just for my true supporters out there. And I'll be creating new ones every month. If you're interested, you can get access to them by joining and supporting my new Patreon page. The link will be in the description. And you won't be able to find these assets anywhere else. I'm talking about material you goodness, team pixel vibes, and abstract uniqueness to get your home screen looking fresh and beautiful. On top of joining, I'll also constantly be giving away a ton of promo codes on there, including 150 codes from apps shown off in this video. You'll also get 24 hour early access to my videos before anyone else can see them. I'll include your name in the description of all my future videos as top contributors, and I'll be on there showing off every app in my app drawer, what my setup looks like, and a lot more. It's the ultimate way to take your smartphone to the next level. Anyways, enough self-promotion, let's just jump straight to the apps. As most of you know, long pressing any icon on your home screen will bring up its shortcuts, which can be very useful for jumping directly to a specific page within that app. It saves you a few extra taps. But how about we simplify the process even further and bring some of those shortcuts into a single menu? It's possible with pinned shortcuts. This app lets you choose up to four custom shortcuts to pop up when you long press its icon on the home screen. And again, by downloading another app called Shortcut Maker, you'll even be able to add websites, launch specific settings, files, contacts, etc. All on this app's shortcuts. Doesn't get any better than that. Spotify and YouTube Music are both fantastic streaming services. The best of the best. But there's always an indie developer that does it better. And this time around, Black Hole is the better option. Not only does it bring both Spotify and YouTube Music together, but it also removes the annoying ads, doesn't require you to log into any account or pay for a subscription, and you can even download the songs for offline listening. I even like that they include extra features like a sleep timer, lyric support, and a very customizable interface. Plus, for that cherry on top, it's open source. I'm honestly tempted to just cancel my Spotify premium account and just use this instead. The only string detached is that if you're in the States, you'll need to use a VPN to access any Spotify songs. Otherwise, the app will only support YouTube Music, which honestly isn't even that bad. Overall, a spectacular streaming service app, and a huge thanks to MidHunt956 for recommending this app to me on my subreddit page at HowToMen. If any of you recommend an app or game to me on there, I'll choose it, and I'll be sure to shout out your name in the next episode. Here in the States, we use Imperial Units, which is a huge annoyance to everyone else in the world who uses the more obvious metric system. Unfortunately, that's never going to change, and it affects even small things like cooking recipes. I know you've been there where you tried to follow an American or European recipe, but got annoyed that all the units are different from what you're used to. How much is 1 cup in deciliters, or 12 ounces in grams, or 500 grams in US cups? It's a headache. Well, this app called Measury will easily do the conversions for you by simply letting you snap a picture of the recipe, scanning the picture, and then it will convert everything on its own. If it's a teaspoon of garlic powder, it'll show you it in milliliters. If it's a cup of mayo, it'll convert it to grams or deciliters. Or if it's something in pounds, it'll convert it to kilograms. Very simple and hassle-free. It also works vice versa if you're in America and are trying to follow a European recipe. I'm a huge fan of the new themed icons that Google introduced within Android 12. They don't have any crazy designs or unnecessary tweaks. They simply follow the colors of your wallpaper, and I love it. But here's a way to make things a lot more minimal. With Pix Monochrome Icon Pack, you can have the same looking icons as Google, but without the wallpaper theming feature. Instead, they'll follow your system's theme. So when you're on light mode, the icons will be white, and then when you switch to dark, the icons will have a darkish gray background. Keeps it clean and minimal without having to deal with any ugly looking colors that the Mono theming system chooses to use. It does cost $1.49 though, but I'll be giving away 50 promo codes on my Patreon page, 
so make sure you get subscribed there. A new smartphone competitor called Nothing is releasing its first phone this summer. And a lot of people are a bit disappointed with their first event because they didn't really show much. Still, there's one thing that caught my attention, their widgets. I honestly thought they were refreshing and unique. So I set out to find the best app on the Play Store that could replicate them and I came across Nothing. This KWGT widget pack comes with all the standard Nothing OS widgets and a few extras including the famous dotted digital clock and at a glance widget. There are also a few alternative analog clocks that look amazing and a few random widgets like the weather, music player, battery, the news, and even a calculator. The best part is that you can quickly turn them from a dark theme to a light theme within their KWGT global settings. It does cost a dollar, but I'll be giving away 50 promo codes for this app on my Patreon page if you want to download it for free. Nowadays, most phones don't have enough storage space, especially if you have a base model of 128 gigabytes, since apps and media will fill it up quickly. And instead of buying a more expensive phone, you can simply back up your data to the cloud to free up the space. It'll even lessen the worry of losing any files, even if something happens to your phone. Although there are plenty of cloud services out there, Terabox, the sponsor of this video, is a fantastic option. Unlike its competitors, Terabox gives its users over a thousand gigabytes of free storage space to use without paying a single dime. That's literally insane. So you can literally back up over 3 million photos, 2,500 video files, or over 6 million document pages. It's a lifetime support of storage space where you don't need to worry about running out. Plus, you can bet that with every uploaded file, your data will be secure and safe since Terabox's security is top notch. I even love that when I back up any files, they don't limit the download or upload speeds. Everything is put in just one Terabox. Then, whenever you switch to a different device, it doesn't matter if it's an Android, iPhone, iPad, or desktop, all of your uploaded data will be easily accessible, even allowing you to transfer the files seamlessly. So if you like a free and easy to use cloud service that gives you a thousand gigabytes of free storage space out the gate, make sure to download Terabox through the link in the description. Moving on to the games, Gunfire Reborn is one of the most addicting first person shooters that I've played in a while. Not just because the graphics look great or the controls are on point, but because the action is fantastic. Each time you play, you have to get through five stages before moving to the next world. And it gets pretty intense as you start to progress because there will be monsters all around you trying to kill you and shoot at you. Each time you kill one though, they'll drop different types of loot like coins, mana, or even weapons so that you can upgrade your equipment and become even more invincible. But even with all those upgrades and perks, I still end up dying plenty of times, especially on the boss fights because one hit from the enemy and it will cause your health to deteriorate almost instantly. Still, it's entertaining and you won't want to put your phone down until you beat the final boss. Catalyst Black is another action-packed game from a third-person perspective and it's multiplayer, so you'll be playing against other players. It's enjoyable, but I can't see it getting repetitive in the future. All you're really doing is running around an arena trying to shoot at the other team and killing as many enemies as possible. There are different types of game modes to keep things refreshed. One is called Slayer PvP, where the team that gets 25 kills first wins. Another one is Hydra PvP, which is a little more complicated. Each team has a home station and whichever destroys the others first takes the trophy. At first, it's gonna be really easy and you'll be playing against a bunch of noobs, but after a few matches, you'll start to play against higher level players and that's when things will start to get really challenging. You'll even wanna rage quit at times. Luckily, after each match, you'll receive new guns and gear, which you can equip and upgrade to become even stronger. It's amusing and free, so why not check it out? Magic vs. Metal has a very similar strategy, but it's not multiplayer and the attacks are a lot more creative. You either get to play as a giant metal robot or a really creepy magical monster. You can try out both though by switching to each world and each monster has unique attacks, which is pretty sick. On the battlefield, you'll get to destroy the other fraction by spawning large amounts of troops or launching large attacks at the enemy. It could be missiles or giant bolts of magical lightning. It's crazy. And to win, you'll either need to kill off the other army or you'll need to destroy the enemy's base, which is just a giant magical wall. I wouldn't say it's as fun as Catalyst Black, but I can definitely see it becoming a lot more fun and less repetitive in the future since there are so many different types of characters that you can play with, plus controlling a whole army is pretty sick. You know I had to do it, 
Apex Legends Mobile just got released on the Play Store a few weeks ago, and it already has over 10 million downloads. So I had to show it off on the best apps. It's the new Battle Royale franchise, and it's honestly just as fun as Call of Duty Mobile or Fortnite and a refreshing take. If you've been living under a rock, Apex Legends is a battle royale game where you'll join a random team and try to take down others on a giant map until you're the last one standing. It's really fun since you'll always need to be looking for better guns and perks randomly scattered around the map, all while avoiding leaving the safe zone, which shrinks every minute and trying to kill other players that you come across. The graphics are fantastic, but it can make your phone really hot after 30 minutes of gameplay, and that's when large battles will make your phone really laggy. So I definitely recommend lowering the graphics if you're on a lower end device. I also really like that the controls are adjustable, just like Call of Duty Mobile, and there's controller support for anyone who wants to take things to the next level. Unfortunately, since it just got released, there are still a few things that aren't supported like movable vehicles, helicopters, etc. Either way, it's a fantastic game so far, and I'm excited to see how it progresses with every new season. Anyways, those are the best Android apps of June 2022. I hope you guys ended up downloading at least one or two apps. And if you did, a quick thumbs up would really go a long way to helping this video reach other people. Make sure you get subscribed with the notification bell turned on as well. And make sure you also check out my Patreon page through the link in the description, because I'll be dropping over 150 promo codes on there to the apps that I just showed off in this video and providing exclusive KWGT widgets and wallpapers. Either way, thank you all for watching and sticking to the end, and I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!